Do you ever feel like you need a severe spanking on your body? Camera right. Is you have, but you just don't okay, camera ask. one. How's your position? Uh, Got it. My Great. Name? Okay. Uh, camera two. Can I punch you in? Uh, yeah. Bring it on out. Okay, Cookie. I need names. Yeah, I got it. Do you want it? Do okay. Got it. Hang on. Okay, here we go. You're okay, level everybody. One. I need, I need to focus. Good. Let's do okay, a. One, uh, two. Hey contestants, how you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? You got it. How you so you're playing with yourself, huh? Sorry, just type your name in, okay? You guys got that in there? Yeah. Can use your 19, please? Hey, Carl. Oh, yeah. Are you looking for a seven-question tournament-length game or a full 21-question deal? All right, if that's what you want, your call. 30 seconds. Okay, your buzzer is B as in uh, beer bong or, or just plain bong. Yeah, please, try, try to scream it. Well, get your gloves on, because I need you to flood out that key light. 20 seconds. Whoa, heads up. All right, when a question pops up, you got to buzz in. Then you pick your answer on the screen and hit the right key on your keyboard. You follow me? 10 seconds. Good luck to you. Okay, let's get rid of the desktop. Cue graphics. Okay, thank you. Let's go to black. Okay, people, let's go stand by. Adios, pendejo. You're playing solo for this show? All right, let's do it. Okay, pick a category. Get ready for some fun. It's question number one. Oh, yeah. The name of this category is Hannah Barbology. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Mr. Flintstone is to Mr. Slate as Mr. Jetson is to whom? Mr. Spacely, Mr. Sprockets, Mr. Rubble, or Mr. Skyrockets? Mr. Spacely of Spacely Sprockets. Mr. Spacely is George's boss. Mr. Slate is Fred's boss. Important information you can use. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Seasick thoughts? You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Hang on tight, because here we go. There's evidence that during his third voyage, Christopher Columbus began to doubt that the Earth was actually spherical. Instead, he made a note in his log comparing its shape to what? A piece of poo, a lime, a woman's breast, or a collie's head? Actually, he said it was pear-shaped with a nipple rising up on one side like a woman's breast. Is anyone else turned on right now? How about it? Hit me with a category. Question three. The category behind this question is Candied Astronomers. The amount on the table is three grand. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Galileo is considered one of the great minds of all time. If while he was alive you ejected butterscotch into a cerebellum, what immediate result might occur? He might think he tasted butterscotch, he might start laughing, he might have an orgasm, or he might lose his coordination. He might lose his coordination. See, the cerebellum controls motor activity. If you poked it with something, your coordination might be affected. The butterscotch was just for fun. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Four. The category is presidents and sexy lingerie. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. If being president were a euphemism for sex, then FDI would be credited for having the most stamina. But who's the only president who's gotten kicked out of bed but was later invited back? William Henry Harrison, Richard Nixon, Lyndon Johnson, or Grover Cleveland? Cleveland, he was elected as both the 22nd and the 24th president. Now, I bet the old chief executive was glad to be back in the Oval Office, if you know what I mean. Okay, pick a category. Question five. 
This one's going to be meat and meat byproducts. And this one's going to be worth $3,000. Hope you're ready because here's one coming at you. You're driving through Pennsylvania and you suddenly get a craving for a mush of fried hog shavings and cornmeal. You quickly pull into a diner. What do you order? Bitsum, scrud, scrapple, or scumble pie? Scrapple. Try it with Snapple. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Uh-oh. West Truck Licks Nine More. It's time for a ticklish past go. All right, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Still life with snack cake. The opening value is $5,000. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Short one, but a tough one. Ready? What does this rhyme with? Steal a part of a Twinkie. First hint, he's a painter. Okay, let's see what you got. Start typing and hit return when you're done. Okay, and right over here we have the Last Supper, done in the late 1400s by that master painter, Stilaparto a Twinkie. Nice job, apparently you know your renaissance artists and your junk food. How about it, hit me with a category. Zabba dooba dabbin, question seven. Here's the category. Ships, dancers, bugs, and shrinks. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Which of these does not equal five? Years of the Enterprise's original mission, hundreds, Tony won in Saturday Night Fever, legs on a cootie, or amount in cents, Lucy charges for advice. You got it. There are six legs on a cootie. Okay, pick a category. Yeah, man, come yeah. along to question eight. The category, a hero for the 90s. Pop a right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. All right, let's say DC Comics proudly introduced a new superhero called Inertia Man. Of the following, which superhero power would you expect he'd be lacking? Ability to remain still even when pushed, ability to move in the same direction for hours, ability to resist even needed change, or ability to go so slowly you barely notice. Even Inertia Man can't keep still when pushed. A body rest tends to remain at rest until acted upon by an outside force. And a body in motion, wouldn't you like to know, sicko? All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Whoa, what's your sign? It's number nine. Next up, work it, Superman. And we will pay out $3,000 for this one. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. Imagine Clark Kent quit writing for the Daily Planet to write for the Daily Worker instead because he agreed more with their ideals. What might Superman logically do next? Use x-ray vision to see women's underwear, drop a large boulder on a local farm, warm the beaches with his heat vision, or turn in his cape for a hammer and sickle. The Daily Worker was the newspaper produced by the Communist Party USA. He'd probably hold on to his tights though, you know, for late Saturday nights when he's reading Marx and feeling sassy. How about it? Hit me with a category. All right, let's see what we're doing here. A very thorough body massage. Okay, this one might be a toughie. It's worth 3,000 bucks. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. If you wanted to massage your master gland, you'd have to remove your what? Your trousers, thyroid, liver, or pituitary? <laughs> And here's the right answer. Remove that pituitary and give it a good massage because it's important to growth and sexual maturity. Yeah, you gotta treat your pituitary pretty nice. Oh, I don't get a massage? Fine, you don't get pubic hair. We've got 10 questions down and for 10 more, we're going on to round two. <laughs> now pay attention because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. Okay, pick a category. Love it. 
The category behind this question is Blonde Mathematical Ambition. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Remember the commercial in the 70s featuring a blonde extolling the virtues of her shampoo by saying that all her friends were talking about it? The line, she told two friends, and so on, and so on, and so on, is actually an example of what type of mathematical expression? Prime factorization, arithmetic mean, differential equation, or exponential growth? Exponential growth. It was a great commercial. It taught you about math skills and personal hygiene. How about it? Hit me with a category. Uh-oh, mess butt tit slime chore. Once again, it's time for a Tinker Lake Test Drum. This gibberish questions category is... Words of love and hygiene. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. Okay, now remember, you don't have all the time in the world here. The less time you take, the more money you make. Now, you know there's no screwing your neighbor in this kind of a question. You ready to untangle some gibberish? Let's do it. What does this rhyme with? Drink, plow your sore, never scold your niece. Don't let the punctuation throw you off. Okay, let's see if you know it. Type in your answer and hit return. Now, if there's anyone here who feels that these two should not marry, streak plow, you also never scold your niece. Or in other words, speak now and guarantee yourself two fewer friends in the world. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Question 13. The category is Eats Like a Bird. Ah, you're going to be pretty good if you get this one. It's worth 6000 bucks. You know, nobody ever seems to see baby pigeons, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. What term most accurately describes the type of nourishment new pigeon parents offer their offspring? Garbage gruel, pigeon milk, slug soup, or bug biscuits? Pigeon milk, a regurgitated white fluid that's amazingly similar to the milk produced by mammals. But for some reason, pigeon milk just never caught on as a non-dairy creamer. Okay, pick a category. It's question 14. The name of this category is Enemas and Etymologies. You get this question right, you pocket six grand. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. All right, the word anima comes from the Greek word emiene, which means what? To encounter, to be an enemy, to send in, or to set free. All right, we're going in. How about it? Hit me with a category. The category, Famous Roosters and Bizarre Operations. Hello, this one's going to be worth $6,000. Okay, this one's a toughie. If Foghorn Leghorn and Pete's Dragon were combined into one character, the best name for him would be Pete's Hengon, Bobby Basilisk, Gary Gorgon, or Philippe the Fire-Eating Cock. A basilisk, part dragon, part rooster. Now there's an animal that could wake you up at sunrise. Okay, pick a category. Flush your head down the latrine. Ease your way with sour cream. 16. Here's the category. Blood is thicker than daytime television. 6,000 bucks is riding on this one. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. You just won the part of Glory on General Hospital. If Luke Spencer is Glory's father's brother's wife's only brother-in-law, he is Glory's what? Lover, father, son, or cousin? He's Glory's father. But don't worry, he'll be killed by the narcoleptic chief surgeon in next week's episode. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Next up, if you can't join them, lick them. And this one is not going to be easy, $6,000. Hang on tight, because here we go. 
The following phrases are jumbled variations of popular cliches. Now, only one of them retains the same meaning as its original counterpart. Now, which one is it? Caught between a hard place and a brick, a hand in the bush is worth two birds. The harder they are, the bigger they fall, or a mossy roll gathers no stones. Caught between a hard place and a brick. Boy, you must have really had your ear to the grindstone on this one. Okay, pick a category. Song to city. This one's gonna be Henry VIII and Frank Drebin. It's gonna be worth $4,000. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Of the following, which are there the most of? Great Lakes, Wives of Henry VIII, Ivy League schools, or televised episodes of Police Squad? Nope, he had six wives in two varieties, headed and beheaded. Ivy League schools. Yes, eight of America's biggest snob factories. And I should know, because I went to one. How about it? Hit me with the category. The category behind this question is biology and television. I'll pay you $4,000 bills for this one if you get it right. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Which TV character could never have had a spin-off starring his or her own offspring? Mr. Ed, Tiger, the Brady's dog, Francis the talking mule, or Flipper? Francis. Mules, a hybrid between a donkey and a horse, are, fortunately for all of us television viewers, always sterile. Okay, pick a category. Wow, honey! It's question number 20! The category is, ladies and gentlemen, the mortgage family. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. If Lori Partridge were to move out and apply for a mortgage for her own place, what legal term might appear after her name on the paperwork? Maiden, loner, old maid, or spinster? Spinster. Believe it or not, it's sometimes used on legal documents. It means single woman. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Jack attack time. Oh, you already got the rules down, huh? Let's not waste time. Match on this. Blank and blanks. Hope you've got more in your head than that, because we're about to start. Begin the attack. is going to help you find a decent job or anything, but who knows? But I'll tell you what I do know. You don't know Jack. 
Everybody, great show. Cookie, uh, what's the plan here with the contestants? All right, if you want to play a game, you just got to let me know whenever you're ready, okay? But I've got for you. This is Sticky Buddy! Yay! It's the new toy kids are going wacky over. It looks like a stick. Not just a stick, dear. It's Mr. Sticky Buddy. Sticky Buddy's my best friend. He never takes it hard. When Mom says, it's a stick, and we can't have those in the front yard. But in chicken wacky things, even poke your mom. Ouch! Mr. Sticky Buddy, you're my friend. Mr. Sticky Buddy. Stick not included. This week on Space Trek. Captain, the shields aren't holding, the holodeck is malfunctioning, and the replicators are making dog food or something out of the time continuum. Good gracious, have you tried a tachyon burst? Yes. Phase disruptor array. Yes. Replicated lateral hollow injector coils with lemon. Yes, but nothing seems to work. And now my alien Ford is morphing again. What we need is a new vocabulary word. There's only five minutes left in this episode. Does anyone have any ideas? Captain, I can have a word ready in ten minutes. That won't do. We can't afford a two-part episode. What about the Machina way? Deus ex Machina. No, Lieutenant. It needs to be late 20th century pseudo-scientific. Like quasi-dimensional EMF or... Wait, I've got it. Well, say it. Uh, no one's going to hurt you. No, I can't think under pressure. Captain, I am sensing great commotion on the bridge. Yeah, I've got your commotion right here, baby. Find out the new word that saves the day. Friday at 8 on Space Trek. Captain, I am sensing low Nielsen ratings. Earlier today in Boca Raton, breakfast cereal icon Chalky the Chipmunk was arrested in a movie theater for indecent exposure. We'll take you live to Boca. Chalky! Chalky! Stop touching me! What exactly happened today? I brought my grandkids to see Pocahontas. I got a large butter corn and a box of non pareils I love my grandkids, so sue me! What about the accusation that you exposed your nuts when Pocahontas dove into the fish pond? Hogwash! I stored my nuts for the winter. No more comments! Don't kill Chipmunk! You filthy rodents! You're gonna get me, buddy! I'm innocent, I tell ya! I was framed! Framed by Pinky, the puffy pig! I don't even like brunettes! Find that pig and you'll find the truth! Look, Mommy, there's a large creature eating me biscuit! Whoa, kid! Your breakfast tastes like gravel! I would fancy something tasty! Hey, try some of these! Scrumptious nummies with meaty bits! It's me new British Chaco Puffies with real nuggets of blood sausage. Still turns the milk pink and tarty, and moms love it because it's got fluoride. So me teeth don't fall out. That's right, Snaggletooth. I fancy you, Chucky. Get some sun, Ringo. Hey, I'm off to France. <laughs>